Good day. Today we want to look at organizational ecosystems. Now, primarily when we're looking at the development of a strategy, right, or the strategic planning process, it is essential that one understands that before the development or the designing of a strategy uh, in the strategy process, the organization has to understand its stakeholders. And these stakeholders are split in various categories or in three categories. And this is what we call the organizational ecosystem. The notion here is an organization does not operate in isolation. An organization has various stakeholders which influence and are influenced by the operations of the organization. Now we have the internal environment or the core business. We look at stakeholders which have contractual obligations with the organization or contracts with the organization. Now these are the organization does have direct control over the behavior of these stakeholders. And these stakeholders also have direct control or significant influence towards the behavior of the organization. We also have the extended enterprise where an organization does not have con a contract with these stakeholders, but has significant influence. So with the core business, primarily its control, extended enterprise, there is significant influence with the organization. Then we've got the business ecosystem, what we normally term as the business ecosystem, that is the external environment where an organization uh, does not have any control, neither does it have significant influence, but has somewhat an influence towards the behavior of the parties within the external environment. All right. So why an organization needs to understand these stakeholders is because at the end of the day, the decision that the, or the strategies that the organization design and implement should somehow benefit these players so that the organization may also benefit from the decisions of these players. So there is a reciprocal relationship that exists between the organization and players within the ecosystem, right? I rub your back, you rub my back. So basically an organization needs to create value for these stakeholders. So when we look at ecosystems, we can never run away from the notion of value creation, right? Because an organization wants to create value for these players in order to get value. And therefore, we need to look at the value creation process as it is essential for the organization to finally get the value that it, it needs for itself 
and its major stakeholder who are the shareholders. That is if we're looking at a profit-making organization. For non-profit-making organizations, the value creation process is still, is still essential. But when we're looking at the capturing of value, right, we're looking at other stakeholders which are not the shareholders, depending with who the major shareholder, major stakeholder is. So this value creation process has got four elements. First, we look at value definition. Value definition, which starts with the identification of the stakeholders, prioritizing stakeholders, identify the needs of stakeholders, and formulate value proposition, which satisfies these stakeholders. And therefore, we need to also have the knowledge of Mandela stakeholder mapping which gives us a sound understanding of who the stakeholder is and their importance to the organization. The nature of their power for every decision, we need to consider the Mandela stakeholder mapping, right? And then from the definition of value, we go to the creation of value. How does an organization create value? We need to consider who should we partner with? What resources should we have? The processes, the activities, and the outputs that we should produce and how to deliver this value, which is the third component through channels and various segments. And lastly, we need to consider the capturing of value in order for an organization to capture value, it must have an understanding of its cost model and its revenue model. The difference thereof will give you a profit. And we need to decide as an organization how to share that value. Okay. So... An organization should always think of the ecosystem prior to making or devising or developing any strategy. And remember, the core business speaks of the internal environment, extended enterprise, the market environment, the business ecosystem, the external environment or non-market environment. Right, And when we look at the non-market environment, we're looking at factors of the external environment. That's what we call normally termed the personal analysis. And therefore, we can never overemphasize the importance of organizational ecosystems in the strategy process and in strategy formulation. Thank you.